Hello and welcome to Ginger Games. Today's video will be teaching you about the basics of redstone. So first off, this is the redstone ore block. Now when you destroy this, you must at least have a iron pickaxe or better. Now when you destroy it, it will release some redstone dust which will look like this. As you can see, put it, pick it up and I'll move it again. The reason why I'm not destroying this is because, as you might have noticed, I'm on creative mode at the moment. Now, to place redstone, you have to right-click on the floor on pretty much any surface. So, wool, and there we go, there's some redstone. Now, redstone is fundamentally just um, wire that can hold a current from a power source. And... That's pretty much what redstone is, and you can see what redstone does by looking at redstone create the red creations on YouTube. And there's some amazing ones like computers and vending machines and even computer games now. Now, one thing about redstone is it cannot be placed upon glass. Now, this is very useful if you wanted to make a transistor or something like that. But at the moment, you don't need to worry. Just know it doesn't. You can't use glass. Another thing about redstone is, if it's collided by water, or lava, as here, it is destroyed instantly. So redstone torches, repeaters, and the, and the dust wire is destroyed instantly. So if I do this, there you go, it's all destroyed, as you can see. Another fact about redstone is, when it's got power supplied to it, so the current and the wire, the current and the wire can only travel... 15 blocks away from it, the power source, which so my power source at the moment is this torch. So I can go do and to the 15th block here. This has still got power, however, the 16th block has no more power. Now, the way I can tell that this has power or not is that this has some particle effects coming off it, and this has none. So, as you can see, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of redstone, but. Now, I'm going to teach you about the power sources. Now, there's two different types of power sources. Toggable and non-toggable, pretty much. There is the first one, which is these first four here are toggable. And the last one is non-toggable. So, first off, we have this lever or switch. And you can toggle between the on or off state. Push me. Go away, cow. Go away. Anyway, um, you can toggle between the on and off state. As you see, right click, oh, there you go. On and off, ones and zeros, whatever. Next is the button, and this is powers on, but then it goes off after a certain amount of time. So if I click it, it's on, now it's off. On, off, it's okay. So it's nice if you want a shortish pulse, or yeah, and you want it to be on for a few seconds, it's good. The next two are pressure plates. There's a wooden pressure plate and a stone one. Wooden pressure plates are activated by anything trampling on top of it. So that's items, mobs, um, humans, or anything. However, the stone ones only work when humanoids go on top of them, or mobs. So animals like pigs or that cow that just annoyed me, um, or zombies or anything, they all affect it. So if I just chuck a piece of redstone on this... There you go, it's activated it. And if I chuck a piece of redstone on this, it does nothing. But if I stand upon it, it does. The next, I'll move this over here just because I like it over there. The next power source is the redstone torch. This is not toggable in that to, for it to be on, it has to be there. And for it to be off, you have to delete it or get rid of it. So that there. Um, before the days of, um, we had repeaters, which could extend the signal more than 15 blocks, we had to use something called an inverter, which is this thing here. Now, what an inverter does is invert the signal, or the, the current, of the redstone. So, at the moment, I'm powering this off, so this redstone here is off. However, on the other side, this redstone's on, and the lever is pushing upwards. We'll not leave the piston. Okay, so when I turn this on, this side is on and this side is off. So as you might have noticed, hmm, this why is this happening? 
Now this bit here is the inverter. Now if I go over here to show you, it might be easy to show. When power is supplied to a block that is in, which is indirectly um, attached to a redstone torch, so like this, so it's the redstone torch is applied to, attached to this block, but then power has been supplied to this block, then the redstone torch will go off. So if I switch this, as you can see, it goes off if the power is on this side, and then on, off, okay? So it, this inverts the signal. And it works at the side as well, so if I show you here, pretty good. Now, you may be thinking, okay, this is easy enough. Now, how do I get this to go upwards, the redstone to go upwards? Now, using these inverters, we can do this. Now, I know this looks a bit weird, but what it does is, this power, this red, when you power plow here, when you apply power to this block here, this will go off, which isn't supplying power to this torch anymore, which means this is on. This means it's powering this torch, this block here, which makes this go off, and on and on and on, until it does all this, and hey, presto, it's over there. There's another inverter. So what I do when I power it on, show it again, oops. I just destroyed it. God damn it. Right, um, there's a lever. Uh, do it again. There we go. There we go. And you can see it's powered the piston. Now, to go back down, you just need to do like a staircase and do it that way. This is another way of vertical redstone transmission. Um, both ways are fine to use. Um, you may use one in one circumstance and one in the other. But... It just depends on what you're going to do. So, and again, to get it down, you have to use the staircase method. So, I'm just going to click this again and hey presto. Now, one other thing about redstone is it can change the state or toggle the state of a certain block. So, for instance, here I can toggle the corner piece here so it can go the other way. So, if I click this switch, as again, look on a power state, it goes this way. And then you turn it on, it goes to the other way. So this is helpful if you want junctions or anything and you want minecarts to go a certain direction, but then you switch it again and they're going to go the other way. Okay. Um, another thing is, redstone can power the red, uh, the Minecraft boosters. So if I, I had to use put minecart down there, if I power it, it boosts it along. But without power, these act as brakes. So these can stop your minecart nearly instantly or slow it down very quickly. So if you go at a high speed and you want to stop, you put one of these boosters without power from it. And, hey presto, they are brakes. Another thing about minecarts is there's a, new, there's a switch. And this switch will is another power supply. So when I place a minecart upon on it... It, power, it supplies power to this redstone and turns this on again. But when I move the cart slightly, there's no more power being supplied. So if I push it on again, and there we go. So this only works with mine carts and me does nothing. Redstone can also be used to toggle these three items, or four if I count this one in a minute. So this is the dispenser, and it shoots an arrow. So as you can see, it's a bit random, the distances on dispenser. As you can see, it. So that can be used to do it. Another one is a note block. As you can hear, dong. And that's how you get a noise from a note block. And another one is a piston, as you can be seeing on my other ones. Da da. Now, the next one is TNT. So to activate TNT, the TNT must be supplied with power. Now, the only way you're going to supply TNT with power is with, well, redstone. So I right click on it, and we'll get out of the way. Boom. And it's a nice little particle effect. So there you go. That's boom. Now, this thing may not make any sense you want to do it, but here, okay, here's the redstone wire. It's supplying, it's supplying power to this block here. Okay. So when I turn it on, the, the piston extends. It's going dark, so I'll have to speed up quickly. The piston extends. Now, you may be wondering why this happens, but because this is supplying power to this block, 
the current in this block, which is held, can transmit to one more block adjacent to it. So this one here. So of course this extends. Pretty good. And now we're going to repeaters. Now repeaters um, repeat the signal like an inverter, but they don't invert the signal. So just show you how it works. Hey, presto, there we go. Um, another thing about repeaters, I've got some here, is that when you right click upon them, you can change the delay upon them. So if I do switch this on, there you go, look, goes like that. Okay, it's daytime now, so I can explain it better. So, as you can see when I do the switch, there we go, it changes the delay. Now, this is directly to this piston, this power supply here is. However, now we've got a delay here on this one, and this is set to 1. This one here is set to 2, this one's set here to 3, and this one's set to 4. Now, as you can see, they should all go, they say that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, they should go in that pattern. The delay on these ticks, on these thick redstone repeaters, is one tick, sorry. So that's one tick, that would be two ticks, that's three ticks, and that's four ticks. Now, a tick is a tenth of a second. So if you're trying to build a clock or something, um, that's very handy to know. So, uh, very helpful. One other thing about repeaters are that they only can supply power one way. They are pretty much like a diode. So as you can see, I can supply power this way and that way. But if I'd switch this on, the power goes this way, which is fine. But because the arrow on the redstone determines which way power can go, it doesn't let it through, just like a diode. Now, with repeaters, because you've got all the time delays and everything, you can use something called a clock generator. This isn't a very good one, but it just shows the principle. As you can see, it produces a clock. Yay! And does that. I'll just destroy it now. Stop it. Anyway, it's ended. Okay, so now with all our redstone knowledge, we can do this. There's only a bit of TNT there, but... Go! Boom! Wow, that was pretty. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I had some more behind it, but oh well. Pretty. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any problems, please message me. So, stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.